Hey everybody, what's going on? Rich the Architect here. Um, today is the first video for um, my Revit help series. So um, I'm going to start with um, just some basics of uh, family creation. So what I have here is a uh, generic model family looking under family categories, generic models. Uh, this is just kind of out of the box using the, um, the Revit template for the generic models. Uh, there's no face-based, wall-based, anything like that. Just a basic kind of model. And I drew, just real quick, I drew uh, uh, an extrusion here that um, just basically a simple box, one foot tall, go into 3D view. There it is. So let me go back here. So what I want to start with is some basics is uh, utilizing the reference, plane, reference planes in a family and understanding what they do. So out of the box, we have this center left, right reference plane, and then a center front back reference plane. Uh, one of the things I want to just start with is on either plane, on either of these planes, notice this box here that says defines origin. So Let's just say, you know, the center left, right, and also the center front back. Both of those boxes are checked. So I'm going to load this into the project. And what you'll see here is because of those two reference planes. Whoop. Don't know why. Oh, it's already loaded in the project. If you look here, basically where I'm placing it is those origins. And then also the other part about it besides just the origin and that being kind of the, you know, the center of it is this reference plane is set to, there's a question here of is reference. So this center left, right is the center left, right. And then the center front back is the reference is center front back. So if I go back here and utilizing these, these reference planes that are in the project, let's say if I did a, uh, an align, right? So I want to align it against here is you'll have, you always have the, the actual geometry as an option. Um, but then also because that reference plane is set as a reference, and you can see here uh, as I mouse over, it'll even name it, is uh, you can then align, uh, you can actually move per that reference plane. Oh, hold on. Select this. You can use the, you know, those reference planes as, as a, a movement point as well. Um, you know, so that's always available and that's how you can kind of set it see here even this this case let's let's just move the extrusion piece you know the actual geometry and let's load it into the project what you're going to see is it's actually going to move so if i do it align now uh, let's skip that the actual center is has moved because that reference plane still stayed in the same spot but the actual um you know the geometry moved so let's uh, actually just we'll move that back and whoop, to just be careful here um all right looks good all right so let me create actually some reference planes i don't want to save it i'll create one along this edge actually you know what let me move, let me offset this three inches. It's pretty good. Why can't I? All right. Maybe, oh, that's right. Maybe you can't move those because the reference plane. All right. So let's have one there and another reference plane. Uh, you know what? Let's make this one one inches on this side. Okay, so same kind of deal with um, you can have the um, ability to define the origin and then also the reference. So this is on the left side. So actually, I'm going to go is reference and I'm going to make this left. Okay, and then this one on the right, I'm actually going to keep as a weak reference and I'll, I'll get back to that one. Now to go back to the origin. So we have the uh, let's just call this the XY origin. You can see here it says def, you know defines origin. Now if I wanted to make an origin somewhere else, let's say here, I can click 
check the box and define origin. So the define the origin now will be the intersection of that line and that line. But then because this is x y and I made that the origin, this is not the origin anymore. So I mean you can't have two two origin points. So um, with that being said, let me just load this back into the project, overwrite the existing. Now you're going to see that 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 actually moves. So if I actually insert a new thing rather than being in the center it's over here on the the left where I define the origin um, at the same time and then I could do that in the uh, the you know the left to right one too let me actually uncheck this now when I uncheck this it doesn't go back to define this origin here um, but if I uncheck this one as well now I don't have an origin defined at all so if I go load back in project, <clears throat> what it did was, and you can see when I do this, is it, it still has a default origin. And that default origin is right here in the center. So, I mean, you have the ability to, well, these are actually pinned right now. Let's see here. These two kind of default reference planes you can't delete. And the reason why is the intersection of these two are the is where the default origin is for this family. So keep that in mind. So you can never erase these. You could turn these off like with um you can hide these. You know, so I can go in here, let's see here. Oh maybe I can't. I thought maybe you could hide these. Um you know with the visibility and all this but but basically there's always a default origin point right there so if you don't define it it will always go to the intersection of, of these two at least in this this um, family instance some other families may may be different but um but yeah so um, you can always um, oh here's the other part is let's create a, another reference plane here in the front and now I'm going to just select these two. I want the intersection of these two to be the origin. So again, if I load this into the project, you'll see that move. Um, so now that's where the, the origin is. So that's kind of part one with it when it's related to the origin. Um, to get back to uh, the, the reference planes, is you know so i kept this as a reference as a weak reference um actually real quick let me just undo these and i just want to put the origin back here in the center um okay so we have this one this reference plane here is the reference to the left um, i'm going to create two more reference planes but i'm only going to make them one inch apart actually i'm going to make three Two and three. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one not a reference at all. I'm going to make this one a strong reference, and then I'm going to make this last one uh, right. So what this will do is um, now let me load it into the project. Uh, that moved because of the origin. Um, I had moved the origin. So if I am looking to, you know, align. So again, if I go into a line, we kind of did it before. So you have the, the center here. The left is over here. Now, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. So these different reference planes. So there's the weak reference one, strong reference one, and the right reference. So those are all points. Now realize that the, I had done four lines. So one that isn't showing up that you can't align to or, or, or use as kind of like a snapping point is the one that I said not a reference. So that one is not available here, but the other the other three are available, um, you know, to align. If I do move, oops, just do enter, you can see here um, I can use any of those reference planes that I've had as a weak, strong, or an actual side as points that you can utilize to um, to kind of snap to when you're moving or aligning. And then for example here, 
well, it does kind of the middle, but you can see here that the, that's the center reference. And then here, the endpoint for that reference plane goes to the intersection of this right um, plane. So you can use all of those reference planes as alignment or move, like or snapping um, planes as well. Now, let's zoom out here. So let's just say you were in a big you know, project and you're trying to align different things. Let me actually move this away. Um, and let's say we're going to align again. So we're going to align to this reference plane. Now at this size, it's really hard to get to all those. So what it does is uh, when it's a weak reference or an actual, let's say, side, you know, so in this case, right, the first line that it's going to go to to align is right. Um, you know, you may be like, see if I just kind of go in there a little bit, I might be able at this size to get like a strong, the strong reference or weak reference, or maybe even the edge. So that's the edge of the actual geometry. Um, but it always default to, you know, especially when you're zoomed out like this to that, to that edge, or let's go back real quick. And let me just make this a, not a reference. So then what it'll do. Let's load it back in. We'll try to do a line again. Now it's going to go to the strong reference. It's going to pick strong before it's going to pick a uh, weak, you know, so even coming over here, you see it's geometry, but then it goes right to the strong reference. I'd have to kind of mouse a little bit or maybe zoom in to then get the weak reference. So it always default to those. You kind of have three tiers of reference planes. Um, so, why would you I just want to end here is why would you want to use these reference planes um they're really good for um you know and actually a great example of that and out of the box is if um you use like one of the refrigerators so if you have a wall clearance that you need in the back of a piece of equipment you would utilize those reference these these reference planes to deal with that wall um, so if this was a wall here and i wanted to align it you know, I could use that that reference plane to be to be the you know so if it was four inches or something like that that the the refrigerator needs clearances in the back, um, you can have a reference plane like that to be you know so um, to you know offset it off of a wall. So um, I'll leave it at that with this now. I wanted to jump into some parametrics, but I'll do that the parametrics um, in the next video. So. If um, you have any questions, feel free to, to comment below. Um, please, uh, you know, subscribe to this channel, like it, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so until the next time, it's Rich the Architect. I'm signing off. We'll see you.